Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I'm going to tell you a little story about the day my heart was broken. And this is not for the faint of heart. So see this little Kessner doll here? Well, it was a doll that was almost identical to this type. It was a small cabinet size Kessner 154 doll. And what had happened to me was the most heinous thing that any doll collector can uh, experience. So I had found this beautiful, beautiful Kessner doll. It was a shoulder head on eBay. And I, oh my goodness, I waited seven days for the auction to end. And I actually won it. And I won it for a damn good price too. It was the most, like one of the most affordable Kessner dolls I ever won. And it was a little bit of a sleeper. Like not too many people knew about it. The seller listed it under the wrong category. And I won it and I was so excited. I couldn't wait to get it. And every day I waited and waited and waited for the box to arrive. And the day came, the mailman dropped it off. And what about, what I'm about to tell you is really heartbreaking. So I got the box. Now, mind you, it was about all of about nine degrees out. It was one of the coldest days of the year. And so I brought the box in and the box was freezing cold. It felt like it was frozen into a block of ice. And what happened was, was I couldn't wait. I had to open that box right then and there. I didn't want to wait. And I just grabbed the scissors, started cutting into the box. And as I cut into the box, what had happened was, was I opened up the flaps and the sickest thing happened. Ice came like almost like a frost, like picture like air made out of frost came out of the box and me being too excited to see the doll didn't even think about the logical uh, reasoning why I shouldn't open the box, but I didn't care. I had to open that box right then and there and see my little baby that just arrived. And so I opened up the the box, took the doll out and started slicing open the bubble wrap really, really excitedly. And the minute I took the doll out of her cocoon of bubble wrap, I heard the most craziest sounds. I heard crackling sounds like it was like very, very like, um, like distinct crackling sounds. Like, you know, when you take a cube of ice trays, um, like, uh, ice cubes out of the tray and you may, and, and you like, try to wring the ice cubes out of that tray and it makes that crackling sound. Well, that's what I heard. And right before my eyes, the doll, the doll's face had spider web cracks all over it. And before my eyes, more cracks were forming until the whole head looked like, picture this, like, did you ever drop your iPhone or your Android phone and the screen cracks and it looks like one big spider web? Well, that's what her face looked like. And then I heard, Pop, 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 pop. It sounded like gunfire going off. And her eyes shattered into a million pieces. The glass eyes just totally imploded. And I stood there with my jaw down to the floor. I started crying. Now, I'm in my 40s. I cried like I was two years old. My teenage daughters walked into the room, look, took one look at the doll, took one look at the tears running down my cheeks, and started laughing at me. Laughing at me. And I never forget that. I, I mean, I never forgot that. I will never forget that for the rest of my life. So here's a, a warning for all of you doll collectors out there. If you get a box and it's very cold, do not open that box right away. Wait a, a good 40 minutes, maybe even a half hour to open the box so you don't end up with a busted up doll with uh, spider web cracks all over her face and glass eyes that explode right before your eyes. So once again, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe and be kind and, you know, write in the comments below that I'm not an idiot because I felt like the biggest idiot on the face of the earth that day. Thanks for watching.